Hello, everybody. Today is our first writing lesson. So we're going to pick up where we left off before Coronageddon happened. Uh, we're actually going to redo the lesson we did right before school ended, just to get your minds thinking about persuasive speech again. Remember, persuasive speech is when you're trying to convince somebody to do something or to think a certain way or to act a certain way. So our anchor chart that we use throughout these lessons is how to write a persuasive speech. When we did our first lesson, we talked about developing an idea. And that was the lesson where we all wrote a very similar speech to Ms. Quinn about getting more Chromebooks. Today, we're going to focus on the idea of seeing a problem and imagining a solution. So the first step to doing this is to think about problems, things that need to change, things that need to be fixed. So I'm going to start a list here. And this is the first thing that I want you to do is get a piece of paper and make a list of at least four problems that you think should be solved. So here we go. Now I'm gonna, it's going to be hard not to block things, but I'll talk as I'm writing. So the first one that I want to write is that people need to stop at the stop sign in front of my house. Okay, so that's my first problem. People aren't stopping. They need to stop at the stop sign in front of my house. So that's one possible thing that I could write about. Another one, people should be wearing face masks. Okay. People should be wearing face masks. When I go out, I'm noticing that there's still a lot of people who aren't wearing face masks. And as you probably know, come Wednesday morning, it's going to be the law that you have to wear one. So that's another possible problem that I could write about. Another one, and this is also, actually the rest are all uh, coronavirus related. This one is that people need to carry out their trash in parks. Because of coronavirus, a lot of the parks here in the Oakland Hills don't have anyone coming to the garbage cans. They've taken the garbage cans away because they don't want their workers to get sick. And I've seen so much garbage when I'm out going for a run. So I really think that people need to carry out their trash when they're in parks. So that's another possible problem that I could write about. Now the final one that I'm going to list here is the government needs to help unhoused people during the You know, for most of us, it's, it's inconvenient, but it's not too hard to socially isolate ourselves. We can go into our homes, and we have everything we need. Not everybody is like that. There are a lot of people who don't have a home that they can go to during this time. And I think that the government should be doing more to take care of those people. All right, so here are my four options okay that is the first step that you should do is list at least four 
one, two, three, four different options of things that you can write about. That is the seeing, you can't see this, well, okay, hold on. That is the see a problem part. You're going to discover, you're going to write four different problems. Then part two, which I'm about to show you, is you're going to pick one and you're going to imagine a solution. And that's your actual writing. So after you develop the four ideas, I want you to pick one. I mean, if you want to, you could do more than one, but you need to do at least one. Now I am going to do this one. Because as I was coming up with this list, I looked out my window and saw a car right through the stop sign. So I feel really strongly about it, as you can probably tell. So I'm going to write about that one. So as you can see, I have already done the writing because I don't want you to stand here watching me while I do all of that. So let me go over what I did to give you an idea of what I would like you to do, okay? So the first thing that I did was I listed the problem. I wish that people would stop at the stop sign in front of my house. That's the problem, okay? Now I expanded a little bit or gave more information about the problem. I said, there are lots of families with children and dogs in my neighborhood. The stop sign allows them to safely cross the street. So to recap, I listed my problem. People aren't stopping. And I explained why it was a problem, that there are lots of families and the stop sign allows them to get across the street safely. Okay. That's only half of it though. It's not enough to just say, there's a problem. You got to do more than that. You need to come up with a solution. What can we do to solve this problem? Okay. And that's what my next three sentences do. They come up with ways to maybe solve the problem. Okay. So the first possible solution I gave was maybe the police could come out and give some warnings or tickets. Solution number one. Solution number two. I might post a message on next door asking people to stop. Okay, so it's an electronic message saying, hey, please stop at this stop sign and maybe tell them why. Okay, the third possible solution to my problem is I wonder if the city would install a speed bump. Okay, perhaps they'll come out and put a speed bump at the stop sign to help at least slow people down. Okay, so problem, three solutions. Then I wrote another sentence just to kind of close it up. And I said, something needs to be done before someone gets hurt. Okay, so something needs to be done before someone gets hurt. That's kind of my concluding sentence. Okay, so my writing had three parts. The first part is the problem. Then I gave three solutions to the problem. And then I concluded it with one last sentence. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I would expect that you would write about as much as I did. It looks like a lot here but it's really about maybe a third of a page long. So it's not a ton of work, you guys. You can handle this, okay? When you're done, you have two choices. Your parents can take a picture of what you have written and email it to me. Or you can go into Google Classroom and the Google Doc that you found this video on, you could type your work up into the Google Doc. Either way. Okay, this is due on Wednesday. Thanks, and I'll see you later.